this is the solution to written homework 29. <clears throat> so written homework 29 combines uh, a couple different things all together. So one thing that this exercise is about is it's about the uh, present value of a money flow. So the present value of a money flow is given by this formula. The integral from 0 to t of f of little t e to negative r t dt. <clears throat> That's when the, the present value from time 0 to big T. But this particular exercise says um, the present value of your business from now until the end of time. So that means that the actual integral that we're going to use because of the phraseology end of time is we'll be using the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t exponential negative rt dt, which is an improper integral. So we'll have to use our uh, improper integral techniques to evaluate this. And furthermore, furthermore, what the instructions are saying, what interest rate was the analyst using to three significant figures, we're going to have to take this this integral, we're going to have to evaluate and solve for r. We'll have to solve integral 0 to infinity f of t exponential negative rt dt dt equal to 1 million. And we'll have to solve this <coughs> for r to determine the interest rate that the analyst was using. OK, so let's do it in steps. <coughs> so first, this is the integral that we're dealing with. So the integral from 0 to infinity of 100 exponential negative 0 point, no, not negative, exponential, this one, 0 0.05t, that's the flow, and then multiplied by exponential negative rt dt. <clears throat> so let's simplify, let's simplify this as much as possible. Uh, this is 0 to infinity of 100. And then because the exponents are the same, or sorry, the bases are the same, we can combine the exponents to get this is 100 exponential of 0 0.05 minus r t dt. Now this is an improper integral, so that means that we uh, cannot use the fundamental theorem of calculus, so we'll do the same thing that we always do with improper integrals. We'll truncate it, <coughs> so we'll truncate it at t is big T. So now it's the integral from 0 to big T of 100 exponential 0 0.05 minus r t dt so that is a proper integral so this is 100 
exponential and then 0 0.05 minus r t divided by 0 0.05 minus r and then we're going to evaluate this from 0 to big T doing that <coughs> doing that that's 100 and then multiplied by <coughs> um, exponential of 0 0 0.05 minus r big T divided by 0 0.05 minus r and then no so I'm going to factor out this 0 0.05 first so we'll do a little bit of simplification before I do that would be better so 100 over 0 0.05 minus r and then exponential 0 0.05 minus r from 0 to big T <coughs> so then this will be 100 over 0 0.05 minus r uh, T there and then <coughs> exponential of 0 0.05 minus r and then multiplied by big T and then minus <coughs> what you get when you plug in 0 which is 1 okay so <coughs> we want to know when this limit when this when what happens to this sum as t goes to infinity so as big t goes to infinity this will be the limit <coughs> as big t goes to infinity of exponential uh, of this number here 100 over 0 0.05 minus r and then exponential 0 0.05 minus r times big T minus 1 so this number doesn't depend on big T 1 doesn't depend on big T only this number depends on big T <coughs> So in order for this limit to be finite, in order for this limit to be finite, <coughs> we need uh, r to be more than 0 0.05. So we need r more than 0 0.05 in order for this limit to be, uh, to be finite. So that means that the interest rate that the analyst was using had to be more than uh, 5%. So then if it's 5% minus the rate the analyst was using, then that means that this, this term right here, this factor, is, is a negative value. So then that's exponential of negative value t. So this whole term... <coughs> in the limit must go to zero so as a result that limit is 100 over 0 0.05 minus r multiplied by 0 minus 1 because that whole term is going to zero and then minus 1 so then uh, negative this much <clears throat> so then I'll, I'll spend this negative value to switch the order of the denominator
So this is how much the analyst, uh, this is the present value of the money flow. And the analyst claims that it was, uh, that he reckons or she reckons the present value to be $1 million. So now let's solve 100 over r minus 0 0.05 is a million <clears throat> so then 100 uh, over 1 million is r minus 0 0.05 <clears throat> So, R is 100 over 1 million plus 0 0.05, and typing that into the machine. is 0 0.0501. So 0 0.0501 is the rate that the analyst was using. 